This is the demo of using AWS Lambda functions to query data stored in AstroDB. We will explore functions written in Java and Python that use gRPC and REST APIs to interact with the database. These functions can be recreated by following this step-by-step -step tutorial on the awesome Astra website. For this demo, I'm using a free tier AWS account and a free plan Astra account, which gives me plenty of resources to experiment with. Let's take a look at the tutorial itself. There are four examples here, and each one has three main steps, create a deployment package, create a function, and test the function. Let's look at the Python SDK, SDK example. Uh, the deploy, deployment package is uh, a zip file with a function source code and dependencies. It's quite straightforward to create. The most interesting part is, of course, the source code of the function. So here we define three variables for Astra database ID, region, and application token. And I will show you later where to find that information on uh, the Astra website. The, uh, these variables, uh, we get the values from the environment variables, and this can be will be configured later in when we create the function. We create Astra HTTP client, and uh, we have Lambda handler, which it gets executed each time we invoke our function. So what this uh, function does, it simply retrieves one value, one row from, from the uh, database. And that row has a key local, and it's from table local and uh, key space system. So this is the REST API call here. And uh, we do it if just one column SQL version, and we return that. So it's pretty simple uh, function. Once we create this deployment package, we can create a function through the web UI. And um, here is, uh, we specify the name of the function, the runtime, and most importantly, we upload our deployment package. And we get to the screen that looks like this. We do define on the configuration tab, we do define these uh, variables for ID, region, and token. And um, uh, after that, we can deploy the function and test it. And uh, for Java gRPC, the process is similar. The language is different. The libraries are different. But it, there are still the same three variables there. Uh, there is a still uh, query that retrieves that SQL version. But this time, it is expressed using uh, SQL or Cassandra query language. So it's a different way to interact with the database, different language. But the process is very, very similar. And uh, the, the, the process of creating a function is, again, through the uploading this package. OK, so this is the, uh, the dashboard of uh, the Astra website. So here I have my databases. And the one that I'm using is the first one, which is uh, function as a service AstraDB. And this is how you find information uh, for this database. So this is database ID that you will need. Uh, you can also create, generate a token and uh, uh, copy it and keep it in secret. And uh, you can also click on the database and find the region. So this is US East one in Google Cloud. So this database, this database runs in Google Cloud. And we will be working with it from uh, using AWS function. Um, what else? Um, and you can, of course, you can create a new database uh, or use existing one. It doesn't matter. We, we don't need to create tables or insert something because we're using system key space, which is standard for all databases. An offset, I have these two functions deployed. Let's look at Python SDK first. Um, this function and the other one as well uh, triggered every 60 seconds, every minute. 
um, by uh, that's defined by the rule in event reach. And that will allow us to um, look at some performance figures, performance uh, statistics for this function. Um, so you can see the code and you can, you can change this code and redeploy the function as needed. Uh, but I'm gonna focus mostly on the performance uh, for this function. So let's take a look at the one hour performance. Let, let's enlarge this chart. And you can see the range is between 100 milliseconds and maybe and 140 milliseconds or so. Uh, so we can even look at the other metrics. Okay, so in CloudWatch under metrics, we can define, we can see the minimum, average, and maximum. Uh, but the average is probably not uh, the most useful statistics here. So let's look at P95. So 95% of within, so for one hour range, 95% of our requests complete under 129 milliseconds, okay? So this is pretty good performance. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, Java gRPC one. Okay. So you cannot see source code because the package is too large, larger than three megabytes and uh, in line uh, code editing is disabled. So in terms of metrics, we do have one outlier here. Let's look at the metrics uh, right away. Let's define P95. Okay. P95. So 95% 95 of our function invocations complete in 55 under 55.6 milliseconds. And the, the fasters, the best performance is 25.9 milliseconds, which is pretty good. And you can do even better with uh, drivers, with Java driver, Python driver, and uh, you can do additional optimization. Right now, our we, we deploying the the database in Google Cloud, and we have AWS functions. Um, so it, it two different cloud providers. Uh, of course, we can use, we can deploy database in AWS, or we can use uh, Google Cloud functions. And we have tutorial and video for that as well. And with that, thank you for your attention.